العزة نواية الرياضة نواية السلوك لله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم uh, In the previous session we spoke about Dome of Provisions and that dome is from under Arsh it's under Arsh where it belongs to Prophet وسلم, Allah gave it to Prophet وسلم, with all the angels that will be created with it from that time till day of judgment that Prophet وسلم, said in his hadith and Al-Qasim I am the one who divide spiritual provisions and physical provisions and we explain that. Now we come to that we, we last what we said is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for rizq physical provision Allah assigned on every bite you eat angels that take that bite all the way through your system and Allah assigned angels that they are both of them under both group of angels are under the command of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the other group are those who bring inspirations to your heart they are filling you with spiritual knowledge they are uploading huh? not downloading We're downloading into downloading in you all these knowledges that they are veiled from your mind your heart can take them in, but your mind cannot read them because there is a password. You have to know that password. And that password comes <laughs> with your five pillars of Islam, the six pillars of Iman, and the one pillar of Ihsan. If you are really progressing in dunya through these three different levels of the hadith of Prophet wasallam, then your password will be given to you. They gave you your password in the day of Alastu Rabbikum Karubala. In the day of promises, when you mentioned, when Allah asked, am, am I not your Lord? We said yes. That time, that password was released to you. But you came to dunya, you forgot it. Why? Because the a negative energy or all what the desire of this dunya the dirty desires has veiled you since childhood when you were being raised up to your adulthood you have been raised on blending with what you have heavenly you are blending it what you begin to gain from this dirty desire uh, world and it, it make it impossible for you to remember that password they were showing me on the internet if you put your your email, they give you a hint if you forgot your 
password, password you have to go through many words that might remind you of your passport. So also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you some hints in order that your password you remember your password in dunya. And I will tell you a story of Grand Sheikh, may Allah bless his soul, and Maulana Sheikh Nazim, may Allah give him long life. How it works? Maulana Sheikh Nazim, by order of Prophet وسلم, through Grand Sheikh, was ordered to do a seclusion in Medina al Munawwara for six months. So, he was in the same room with Maulana Sheikh, with the branch. It's not of, it's not, it has never happened before uh, Sultan Awliya has his murid with him in the same room because too many states or trans happens, the murid cannot carry. But Grand Sheikh, with his power, he was able to make sure that Maulana Sheikh Nazim at that time he was young to carry that. So he was ordered every day to go to Al Haram al Nabawi Sharif, visiting Prophet وسلم, from that school called Madrasa al Shuna, Al Waqf al Bukhari. It was a trust for the Bukhari people who migrated to Medina a long time ago. They put that school to be run after their name and to teach Qur'an at that, and Sharia. So they were doing their seclusion there. So he was ordered to go for the five prayers to pray in Haram al-Nabawi. And from that school, to Haram al Nawawi at that time, now they demolish it. It takes like 15 20 minutes walking. So he, he was ordered that as soon as he stepped out from the building, another Bal, bal Al Qadam. The, one of the principles of Sayyidina Shah al-Naqshband, 11 principles of the Naqshband order, means your eyes must be on your feet where you are putting them. Not your eyes where it can go. You have to look, means don't look at anyone. You are in seclusion, Everyone else is, is excluded. Anything even. You walk and you look where you put your f feet. Going, praying, not to talk with anyone, coming back the same way. Five times a day. And every time you go, he goes. Uh, before he goes, not ablution, but shower. Sleep one hour or two hours in 24 hours. Not like you. Don't sleep every moment. Awrad, hadith wala haraj. What's that? Is, uh, you cannot begin to describe. Means as much as you describe, you are short. Mm -hmm. 
of description for our rod. When I was doing seclusion, if I was reading 15 juzo a day, uh, Maulana Sheikh Nazim might be doing one khatim today, a day, or more. Any case, so looking at his footsteps and going, it's not easy, it's difficult to keep your head down not to be attracted with anything is not easy. Going and coming with Adam. So he's speaking about what? Password. Don't forget. You forgot your password? All of us. So last day he finished so happy. Uh, of course, when you finish seclusion, you will be very happy. All what you have been suffering in seclusion of non sleeping deprivation. Deprivation? What's that? It's really deprived. From sleep. All, yeah, all that you will forget, you will say, oh, I want to go another time. Because that ashk, that love to Allah and His Prophet and to the Shaykh is there. It's increasing in the, uh, through the seclusion. So you like to have it another time because you forget all the difficulties. So he's coming back going out of Haram and Nabawi from Bab Fatima. This is Adam. To go out from after you come from Bab Salam, where Jibreel alayhi salam used to come to Prophet and Sahaba to the presence of Prophet you make salam then Sayyidina Abu Bakr, then Sayyidina Umar, then although the Sayyidina Osman is not there, Sayyidina Ali is not there, Sayyidina Hassan or Hussein are not there, but you need to give them salam from them, Adam. Then you go to Mahbit al Wahi, the wall on the right side after Prophet وسلم, holy grave. Mahbit al-Wahi, where Jibreel used to come with the Wahi. You, you, go, you stand there, pray to the cards and do your dua. Then you go left to where is Sayyidina Fatima, Sayyidatana Fatima al-Zahra is being buried. The angels moved her to that place behind her father. That's why it's recommended to go and give salam. People don't know that. And then there is the empty uh, grave for Sayyidina Isa salam, when he comes back. Then you enter, finish that, you go behind, enter the Rauda, pray to Raka'at Baba with Tawbah, and you do your dua there. That every time you enter Haram al Nabawi, you have to do that. And then when you go, you have to go to the presence of Prophet, ask permission to leave. So, Adab. So, when he finished going out from uh, Sayyidah Fatima to Zahra door, going up and turning, it's not like today. There were all hills and shops, and it's like a huge market with people living there in that area, and and there is one library of uh, Arif Basha, one of the famous 
Wali, Wali govern, governor, governor from Turkey, who was running the affair of Medina to Munawwara. Ala Sakini Abdullah Salatu was Salam. Then it is the way where Maulana Sheikh Nazim has to go out, pass from there. This is his way. And Grand Sheikh, and that story I heard it directly from Grand Sheikh many, many times. But the last time he mentioned it, he add on it. It was not like the times before. There was an addition. I'm mentioning the addition. So he was coming out, walking, looking at his foot, and Grand Sheikh said, at that moment, Prophet وسلم, ordered me, uh, uh, I, I w uh, asked, requested from Prophet وسلم, that my son, this is his last day of seclusion, he's ready, he's finished, he's ready to receive his trust. Can Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasulullah certify that? Because without proper certification, no way. He said at that moment, Grand Sheikh was himself, in the moment, was on that high, like what, what, watching, sitting on that hill watching Maulana Sheikh Nazim moving, walking. Prophet with him, he was on the right hand of Sayyidina Muhammad between Sayyidina Muhammad and Sayyidina Abu Bakr, he was in the middle. He looking at Sayyidina Abu Bakr and saying Ya Sayyidi can you petition you say or request or can you, can you intercede to Prophet that it's Adab, you have to go to the door, that my son is ready. And it was presented to Prophet who was, I was between Say, Sayyidina Muhammad and Sayyidina Abu Bakr speaking, and Prophet said to me, he said, Ranshi. He's not ready yet. He's not ready yet. Don't give his trust. So, when he said that, Grand Sheikh said, Prophet وسلم, at that moment, did not give the permission because yet he did not remember his password that being given to him in the day of promise. He has to know it. That's why Awliyaullah they say it test comes. And every test has one very important password. If you know it, it opens your trust from one door to another door, from one door to another. You know, you need to know it. So, it was not yet ready. Why it's not ready? Of course it's not ready. <coughs> Prophet ﷺ has wisdom saying that and Grand Sheikh understood immediately, means how you want to give him in trust, he's still on the road walking. Until he reached the room inside, you give him the last test. Not the last test, but the test, which is the last one at that time.
And this is Grand Sheikh saying this, telling us this. So until he reached, and Grand Sheikh was watching him through all the roads that he passed until reaching the school back, he was under that observation of Prophet ﷺ, Grand Sheikh and Sayyidina Abu Bakr al Siddiq. It's not simple, sir. For a Prophet to look at you like that. Yeah. You have to know that Prophet ﷺ is always with you, in you, can see you. Awliya Allah, they, they, they can see their student even they are under, in the mine, underground, mining. Because this is a mining book. Like, like this book, there is more than 100. It's mining. Mining, sometimes you have an explosion in the mine, you're finished. Sometimes it collapse on you. So he entered the room and Grand Sheikh said, I scolded him. Why you have made me? He was laughing. Why you have made me feel shy in, in the presence of Prophet Wasallam? I presented you that you be a you finished all your different tests and you have achieved to get your trust and you put me down in the presence of Prophet because Prophet said there hey, you are arrogant proud of yourself Allah, Allah. that's why he didn't accept you to get your trust And ya Allah are nice, they joke with each other, they make tests to each other. And, uh, and he wants to give him hard time. <coughs> you don't know that the most arrogant is shaitan? What you, why you are arrogant of your worshipness? I gave you six months of seclusion. This is the end of it. Go, I don't want to see you until you tell me why you are arrogant. <laughs> He's giving him the hint. You know, the computer will give you hints of many words to catch your password. And Maulana Sheikh Nazim looking at the Grand Sheikh and smiling. And he said, still you are smiling? You go from here, I don't want to see you. And then he's not anymore smiling, he's laughing. You are laughing also, make me more angry. Go from here, took the plate and throw it on <laughs> And Maulana Sheikh Nazim, may Allah give him long life. He said, Ya Sayyidi, can I say why I am arrogant and proud? So, of course, you say. Ah, it's coming. The password coming. And this Grand Sheikh story, I didn't hear it from Maulana Sheikh Nazim. No, no. I heard it from Grand Sheikh many times with its details. If Maulana said it at that time, for example, we love Maulana, but if anyone heard it, we say, oh, Maulana might be made it. Might be. People will doubt. But coming directly from Sultan al Awliya, Krenshin. He said, yes, say, of course you have to say. Why? Why you are arrogant? He said, Ya Sayyidi, of course, 
because I have someone behind me like a roaring, roaring lion like you I am proud because of you you are my pride I am depending on you that's why I am proud of not myself of being a student to such a sheikh. At that moment, <laughs> at that moment, Prophet Sallallahu spirituality appeared, said, give him his trust. That was the password that you are, I have such a sheikh like you to be proud of such a sheikh like you, depending on you. I'm not depending on myself, I'm depending on you. Trust was given. One word. So, everyone, and from that moment, more and more was passed to Mawlan al-Sheikh Nazim until he became Sultan al-Awliya today. So, everyone, Allah is just. With His justice, give everyone their password. You gave a promise there. There is something being given to you, but you have to remember it. You have to know it in order that you would get it. So these angels will go back to the Dome of Provisions. And that's why we said yesterday, Dome is D-O-M-E. Because on the computer, more or less, repeat Dom, 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 Dom. People write it D-O-M or D-U-M. It has to be D-O-M-E. Means it is the Dome that Allah everywhere has a Dome. And the domes for everyone is Prophet ﷺ, the greatest dome that cover all of them from Arsh rahman all the way down. From under Arsh rahman all the way down. So angels, they carry, since you are connected to a sheikh that connects you to Prophet ﷺ, you will be receiving continuously spiritual provisions, means knowledges, that will be downloaded to you through your heart, and in the same time, as a human being, you will be receiving through these angels your physical provisions that you need in your daily life. And that's why, remember that there is a password, try to meditate on it, contemplate. They will never give it to you easy. They want you to struggle to remember it. They give you hints. He's giving us with Dom Dom a hint. Dom that dome. That's why they asked to mention about the dome of provisions. And the hint, the password is coming. But not now. At the end of the so at the end of the series. So we asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us under their guidance. Amen. So, angels that are being assigned, everyone has a different, not the same. And there are angels that have been assigned for prophets of Christ. That he can use them 
the way he likes and for and those special angels that are being assigned for special people to Prophet وسلم, are mainly for Naqshbandi distinguished order. All other tariqas they have their own angel, the angels come to prophet, from Prophet to them. But for Naqshbandi angels that no one can describe them except those who are sultans of awliya that are able to see them and describe them and they are coming up some of their descriptions he said that the angels that have been muakkalin appointed for the provisions of Prophet وسلم, dunya and akhira, dunya uh, 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 worldly and heavenly, لا يحيط به بهم علم نبي مرسل ولا ملك مقرب. Not one prophet of all 124,000 prophets or messengers or the angels of seven heavens and earth that Allah created cannot understand and reach to know the specialty or the greatness and the characteristic khassa, special distinguished characteristic of these angels. No one can know from any prophet or any messenger or any wali or any angel except Prophet وسلم, what Allah gave to him these angels. No one knows them except prophet and inheritors of prophet from sultans, from sultan al-awliya whom they can able to have on their tongues sultan al-zikr. So not every sultan awliya has sultan al-zikr. Only nine of them through the Naqshbandi order that they have sultan al-zikr on their tongue. And we will explain this next time. Inshallah, what is Sultan Zikr? Some people might know, some people might not know, and I'm sure that many people on the internet, they don't know. We will explain it, and we will continue that series. How many minutes is happening? How many minutes is happening? important some important secrets coming you'll be amazed with this series it's one page series but, <laughs> but it's condensed so they are zooming in to bring out inshallah always will be under the feet of Prophet under the feet of Grand Sheikh, under the feet of Maulana Sheikh Nawaz, under the feet of Sayyidina Mahdi under the feet of Sayyidina Isa, and all other Prophets. And we, inshallah, with Prophet in dunya and akhira, and see him in dunya and akhira, al-Habib al-Fatih. تقبل الله